Don't need to go in there. I don't like bogs. They're very rude. Hey, guy. Orem has been free. You've rescued Orem. Auguries do not lie. Well done. Now you truly deserve a reward. I know one spell which you will... Which will be of use to you. I used to defend the temple. He just to spell heart shock. In addition, you may uh, have one use of the blessing pool in the catacombs under our shrine. Thank you again. Tell me about the blessing pool. Zip your blades into it, and it will become much more powerful. It's in the catacombs below us. Watch out for rats. Now I just need to find something worth blessing. A steel, a steel weapon would be best. Maybe the steel large shield. I'm gonna check the bazaar. I think for a weapon. Where am I? I'm here. Go around the forest of death, doom, destruction, annihilation, oblivion, and all things bad. Cross the bridge. Let's check out these various buildings. Yeah. Uh, the man working outside this shack seems harmless enough. Like most brigantes, he didn't reach adulthood without gaining some sort of inf infirmity. In this case, it's a twisted leg, which keeps him standing with only with difficulty. As he struggles with his crude hoe, a dog barks, alerting him to your presence. He turns his head and looks you over. So when he comes to a decision, bows his head and hobbles over to you. Good day to you! My name's Khan. Welcome to my humble farm. Sadly, as you can see, I'm struggling to make it. Uh, make it by. That much is true. His crops are a wreck. I hate to say it, but if you could spare me a few coins, it would be a great help. Sure. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Uh, I don't really feel like doing all that again, but... I could have sworn I clicked yes, but nothing happened. Wrong way. Huh. When you were walking here, you thought you heard splashing and giggling at the end of the dock. Now that you're close, you see there's nobody there. Sure, Doc, you aren't sure why it's placed here. There aren't any boats in sight, and there's no sign that there any are ever here. You reach into the dock, you notice the water beneath you is unusually dark and still. As you look into it, it starts to bubble. A little at first, but then harder and harder, until the lake is churning beneath you. Pretty odd. Let's stay. So you watch a beautiful water sprite. About four feet tall, made of clear, pure water, rises up out of the lake on a constant spout of white spray. Her eyes are closed and her hands are extended towards you. See the water dripping from her hands and wonder if you should have something to catch it. For a moment, she opens her eyes, laughs, and splashes into the lake, drenching you. <laughs> Rude. Oh, I don't talk to you yet, that's right. I need a horn, and I need a, a bowl or a cup or something. Uh, that's all I need from you for now. There's m much more stuff to do there, but I don't want to mess with it at the moment. As it is, I've already gotten so freaking sidetracked, it's not even funny. No! Stop.
stop asking. Altar is cut marble, beautifully cut and polished. It's a number of pastoral scenes and views of lakes and rivers etched to it into the sides as appropriately for a shrine to the sacred Brigantia. In contrast with the peaceful images on the stone, the altar still has blood on it from the last poor rabbit. Brigantia may be generally benevolent, but all divinities still must receive their due. There are several ceremonial items on the altar. Mistletoe, several small knives, brazier. Some things you notice most, however, is a goblet made of solid gold, almost nine inches high, set with semi-precious stones. Look at the goblin, you notice Adian is watching you. He gives you a little shrug as if to say, go ahead and take it. Nah. He's free. And I'll wait until I get a steel weapon, which is what I was going to do before stuff happened. Actually, maybe I need that goblet to get the water sprite water and then I bring it back to him. a special item. Temple Goblet. The temple have created and nursed a beautiful grove of oak trees. They are well cared for, and walking amongst them, even considering the circumstances, is quite peaceful. As you walk under a leafy cover, one of the larger specimens, you notice there's a bunch of mistletoe growing on a low branch. Take it! Mistletoe! That's important. Yes. Mubbling reaches a crescendo, the water rises up. There are hands waiting for you to do something. Suddenly, you have a strange compulsion. Before you realize what's happening, you pull the go golden goblet from your pouch and hold it under the sprite's hands. Watch astonished, the glittering water drips from her slender fingers into the chalice. Soon, there is an inch of water in the cup. It shines and sparkles. It looks terribly refreshing. Sure, let's drink it. Pass the cup around, each get a mouthful, you rest rapidly evaporates. The drink invigorates you, you feel much stronger. Savor the effects, the sprite opens her eyes and watches you. She bats her translucent eyelashes flirtatiously, giggles, reaches out and touches your cheek with her watery fingers, leaving a trail of sparkling droplets behind. Then she loses her form and splashes back into the lake. Everyone got a point of strength. Sweet. Now you're not completely worthless when it comes to carrying stuff. I wonder if I can return the goblet now. Let's put, put it back. Place the goblet on the altar, first taking care to clean off all the grime it accumulated in your pack. Adrian, Adrian nods approvingly. There we go. I done it good. And I saved my game after that. No, nope, not a new save. Just a regular save. Thanks. Now we gotta navigate our way back towards the nether gate. I think I prefer to walk off-road. <laughs> Just because of the noise roads make when you're walking on them. There's that guy's house. Yes. Well, I gave him some... I, no, apparently I didn't. No? His pride was damaged enough by asking for charity. It would have been even worse for him had he received any. Thank you for visiting my lonely home. I wish you well in your travels. Pets his dog and looks at the uneven furrow's size and returns to work. Okay, so not giving him money was what was good. Interesting. Blacksmith. Uh, long sword.
Well, he doesn't have any non-blessed stuff. Respond to me. What a bunch of jerks. Well. Huh. I'm not sure what the. Let's see here. Quests. There's a horn. Let's see if I guessed right. Oh, come on. Leave me alone! I'm trying to do stuff. <laughs> that web was not going away. Get out your horn. All is quiet and still. Do you summon the wolf to battle? Yes! You have thorned your lips and blow a long, clear note which slices through the dead air of the fin. The great dire wolf of the fin is unable to resist such a challenge. In moments it has run up to you. It is brown or gray or black. Or maybe all three. You can't tell. The thing moves too fast to follow with your eye. It moves among you. A malevolent fanged blur ready for battle. Oh dear. He actually looks kind of tough. Aha! Fool! That was uh, easy. The dire wolf of the fin has been slain. You have come yet another step closer to becoming the stuff of legends. Ha ha! That wasn't actually that bad. I imagine if he had actually ma managed to damage me it though, it would have been pretty unpleasant. Where am I? Okay, I need to go this way. Hey, dude, the wolf is dead. So the wolf, eh? Well done. Now for your reward. There's a blessing pool here. 
pool of water in the catacombs below. Dip your blade into it and it will be blessed. You can use it once now. It's payment for your hard work. I'm seeing a lot more pilgrims now, thanks to you. Okay, so I can use it twice. Sure. More mistletoe. Mistletoe is important. Maybe I should bless the chain steel chainmail. Or maybe get the bronze plate and bless that instead. I don't think I can afford it though. The blessings are really expensive. So I want to only use it on something that is really worthwhile. Maybe the axe. I'm not getting a different one for a while, I don't think. I think it just means the weapon in the gut first person's hand. Uh, sure. Uh. Oh, okay. Whatever. Callahan receives a blessing. I don't really see how that works. Because it looks like it's the same weapon. Sure. Two through fourteen, one plus one through seven a level. Okay, it's just a... It doesn't actually change the... <laughs> this dagger has been blessed. Whatever, I just wasted a blessing. I don't care! I can freaking buy another one even though they're ridiculously expensive. We'll just chalk it up to being a learning experience. Those guards look different than they did when I went in. New shift, I guess. We're not trying to get into the forest yet. That's not a good call. Okay, guys, I think we're going to stop here in uh, the bazaar for now. That's okay. It's been a few hours. I will talk to you all later when I try to figure out uh, where to go next. I mean, I know generally I'm supposed to go to Goagnar, but there are some other places we can go and do stuff as well.
And I'm kind of, sort of looking for one of those uh, companions I was told about, but I can't remember where they are. I just can't, and I, I'm not sure where I should be looking. Oh, well. For now, you all take care. I will talk to you later, alright? Bye-bye for now. See ya.